You're here to experience that kind of peace and oneness and tranquility and knowledge that you are one with everything that's good. The universe responds to us as we think new ideas. When we step out of group think and we step forward in a bold way, you know, with new thinking and new ideas, the power that holds and that moves the stars and their galaxies is within you and it responds to you. And it seems always to be rooting for the brave and those who have courage. Courage has power and magic. Faith and courage are your indwelling or your latent superpowers. You can't lose if you have confidence and courage that I'm talking about. We have to use courage. We have to use it to maintain it. So we're, we're courageous and we walk through things. The courage we're talking about requires you to take action. You're only done if you say you're done. If you say it's too late, then it's too late. If you say you're too old, you're too old. If you say this can't be done, it's too late for me, then that's the truth for you. So you wanna be really, really careful of the things you say. You can develop the courage to stop that type of language and stop that kind of messaging and start with the positive messaging to the most important person in the world. It requires a great deal of willingness to get off the poor me. Who would you be if you weren't complaining? What would life be like for you then? Willingness is the key to stop that. Our part is to eliminate fear from any and every thought and eliminate its twin, which is worry. Eliminate fear and worry. We can focus on the things that we can do to become happy, to become participants. If you want to have some happiness in your life, you have to become learn how to be a participant. Ernest Holmes taught that we're here to express life. And so if you're caught up and you're locked up in your room and you're doing some version of Ain't It Awful, you need to develop the courage to be happy again. You need to throw your hat in the ring and start doing something.